Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel, it's Francesco here. Today's feature is Crafting with Craft episode 2. We will be diving into um, a few updates that Craft recently released, I believe it was in their 1.6 version with Trash and Search. Then we're going to do a mini lesson on how to create a link between a note in craft and a note that you do have in a different area of your craft account. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of information. If you want to check out more of the crafting with craft series, you can check out the playlist that will be below here on YouTube or the course that we've already done, which covers the basics of craft. Before we begin, if you enjoy Skillshare courses, we've got uh, our own, which we produce on the channel. You can check out our Skillshare profile and get two weeks free as a link in the description. If you want to get access to, for example, note linking, which is our most recent course, which dives into how to do it in apps uh, like Obsidian. Okay, so here we are with the trash and search update. Um, one of the things that you'll be able to do inside of Craft, here we are in Craft, is now delete things in a trash area. You can either drag them into the trash or right click and uh, move to trash. Now, apparently, if you delete something in Craft, um, it goes to the trash folder, but it will stay there for 30 days. Uh, if it remains unedited or unaltered, then it will be automatically deleted um, to help save you some storage inside of the application. So if you go over to the trash area, you can see some of the things that I have already started going on. And it says here documents will be permanently deleted after those dates. Obviously, they have a quite a good privacy policy stating that they do actually get rid of stuff. So I'll make sure to link that in the description below. So trash is a, a new addition, something I actually thought it had before, but as you can see, very helpful. If I go up to the top right, they've apparently improved search, which I already thought was pretty good, mainly because inside of search, you are able to, for example, be able to see a preview of stuff and you can search blocks. So if I, for example, said uh, meeting with Sarah Walker, you can see that uh, it actually has the breadcrumbs and the block information. And you can even create an action if you want to based on that search, which is very cool. But apparently in this new update, it's 10 times faster, which is pretty impressive in terms of performance. It works really well on mobile. That's what I found actually the spotlight sort of search, um, being able to find stuff is a little bit faster. I already found it pretty fast. So at the same time, it's like hard to be able to differentiate what is faster. But as you can imagine, they're sort of pushing the boundaries uh, to how available this is. And what's cool as well is I looked in the, the notes for the actual launch release and it says here that uh, although search is 10 times faster, um, they are um, in the update actually lays foundations for other iterations in the near future that will allow page results and complex search queries. So that's really good news in terms of actually having a much more sort of fine tuned uh, search. Now, the other thing I forgot to mention is inside of um, Trash, if you do want to restore something, you can by right clicking or you can permanently delete it automatically. Um, so that's something that you can do in that. Uh, experience. So I said I'd show you how to connect up notes. Uh, I've got a little bit of a home page here. So I'm going to go to my notes area um, and you can see I've got a journal here. Uh, so today was a fun day. It looks like I did 26,000 steps. And let's say I wanted to say um, uh, also had a meeting and be able to tag or link a notes that I've already created. It's really simply an app mention um, and I can go ahead and search. And in this case, I've already stored the Sarah Walker meeting in there. So I can press enter and as you can see, the relationship is created. If I go to home uh, notes, uh, so if I go to a meeting with Sarah Walker, you can see that it, the link has been created between notes and the journal. So I can now see that it's been referenced to my journal, which is very helpful. So the other thing they actually added more recently is the ability to gradient highlight. So you can see that a lovely gradient is created. Uh, I can actually change the color if I want to. There's uh, three or four gradient options, which I believe are locked under the pro account. So guys, that's how to create a simple connection between a note that is existing um, and uh, pretty decent in terms of just being able to constantly build their relationships. And as you can see here, uh, the tabs allow you to access and organize that in real time. Um, and you can see here that you can access the new documents sidebar here. So uh, stay tuned for another update on Crafting with Craft. I'm excited to continue this series. Let me know in the comments if you're really enjoying this because it will help me to know whether I should go past like five, six episodes. Uh, but let me know, uh, I'm excited to continue to dive in. Anyway folks, I'll see you very soon. Cheerio.